Okay, we're going to do our Wednesday reading. We're going to read the story Poison Plants on pages 14 and 15. So you'll open up your focus. It'll be on the story Poison Plants. Read this article about poison oak and poison ivy. As you read, think about information that is directly stated. Also, think about what you already know. This will help you figure out information that is not directly stated. So here's our story. This is our he our title, our heading, and then here is a um, little, we'll read it and see what it says about this poison ivy picture. And do you see all these headings? They're subheadings that we have? Yeah, they're a little bit different. All right, so ouch. Where did that ugly rash come from? It itches so much it hurts. That might be a reaction after coming into contact with poison oak or poison ivy. These plants are so mean. It's good to know how to recognize them. If you're unlucky enough to get zapped by one, it's good to know what to do next. How to identify them. Poison oak and poison ivy both grow as a bush or a climbing vine. The plant leaves are shiny. On the end of each stem, the leaves form groups of three. The edges of poison oak leaves are uneven and the tips of the leaves are curved. The edges of poison ivy leaves are more regular and the tips are pointed. Both plants are green and turn red in the fall. Poison oak grows along the west coast in parts of the Midwest and in the east. Poison ivy is found in most parts of the country except the far west. What happens? The rash breaks out only where the invisible sap from the leaves or stems actually touches your skin. The only way the rash can spread is if more of your skin comes into contact with the sap. This can happen in unexpected ways. Your clothes, shoes, pets, sports gear, or garden tools can carry the poisonous sap on them for months. So even if your skin never touches poison oak or poison ivy itself, you can get a rash from it again and again just from petting your dog or untying your shoelaces. You might not even know you've touched poison sap until 12 to 72 hours later. That's when the rash breaks out. Then it burns like crazy. It forms blisters that weep a sticky fluid. This fluid won't spread the rash. It's something your body produces to fight the sap. The rash can last several weeks. Often, it causes swelling. What to do? If you think or know that you or your pet, clothes, or equipment have touched poison oak or poison ivy, start washing everything right away using soap and water. If you wash within 15 minutes of touching the sap, you might not get the rash. Otherwise, you probably will. If you do get the rash, you can buy medicines to make it feel better. What not to do. Although you may want to, don't scratch a rash. Scratching can cause the rash to get infected. Don't try to destroy poison oak or poison ivy on your own. Never ever burn these plants. The smoke would carry the sap into your lungs where the poison could be deadly. Man, that's a lot we just learned about poison ivy and poison oak. So you're going to answer these four question, multiple choice questions and one short answer. Get your paper and pencil ready so you can write down your answers and put them on your Google form after the video. One, details in the article suggest that poison oak and poison ivy, A, are the same plant, B, look exactly alike, C, look slightly different, or D, look totally different. Two, why might you get a rash from petting a dog or cat that ran through poison oak or poison ivy? A, because the animal has a rash from it. B, because poisonous sap might be on the animal's fur. C, because dogs and cats cause allergies. Or D, because dogs and cats have allergies. Number three, from the article, you can figure out that A, everyone's skin responds the same to poison ivy, B, 
some people are more sensitive to poison sap than others? C. Pets are more sensitive to poison plants than people are? D. Other types of oak and ivy are also poisonous. So you're only going to tell me what you can figure out from the article. 4. Why does scratching probably cause a rash to become infected? A. Because it gets germs under your skin. B. Because it makes the rash spread. C. Because it kills the poison. Or D. Because it makes the rash itch more. Think about scratching and what it probably does to become infected. Then you're going to write a short answer. Remember, you need to restate, answer, improve, and complete sentences. The end of the article says that the smoke from burning poison oak or poison ivy could be deadly. Why might that be? So you can go back to the passage and look. And you're going to restate, answer, improve, and all your questions are going to go here onto your Google Forms. They're the same exact questions, so I hope you wrote them down.